Hey, hi friends, welcome back to Baho Automation Lab once again. Uh, in this online video session, we'll try to learn how to install APK file or any app in your device or in emulator uh, programmatically. In the previous session, we have already learned how to start EPM server programmatically, uh, how to start and stop EPM server programmatically, um, programmatically in latest APM version. And uh, today the agenda is install the APK programmatically in your device. Okay, so this is also very very important and tricky concept while working with the APM automation. So watch that video carefully till the end, and you can un understand the better way how do we can install the APK programmatically. Okay, uh, so there is two two things while working with the APM automation. Uh, so first of all, we require to check whether um, which app we are automating which is already installed in device system or not. Okay. So first of all, we'll check that if the app is auto, uh, already installed in your device, then we will ignore that and directly launch that app through the uh, app activity and package name. But if it's not installed in your device, then we can install it programmatically and uh, then run that particular app. Okay, so. As we know, we have um, working on the API demo app. This is the uh, testing purpose app. So we will working uh, for the same app. Okay. So let's go to the uh, Eclipse and uh, see the code practically. Uh, let's start with working and practically and understand the concepts. So previous session, we have already uh, start APM server uh, programmatically in the before test. We are using test and generations to start APM server. Okay, and we have set up this node exe path, node main uh, JS, node JS main path, and uh, this server address. And we have called this in this uh, using API uh, driver local service. And using that driver local service, we have built the service uh, using APM service builder, and we are starting APM server programmatically okay so also we have set up um, desire capability to launch api demo app so this is the app package and this is the app activity and this is a device name and uh, uh, no reset true and uh, this is uh, remote travel path which we are set up and through that we are launching the api demo app and all those things right so uh, what we have uh, do now uh, we will not launch app using this app package and app activity. Okay. Whenever this app is installed, then only we will use this app package name and activity. But but if the app is not installed in this particular device, okay. Till time, what we are working, we are assuming that key, this app is already installed in the uh, device, and through that we are launching the app. But what if this app is not uh, installed, already installed in the system? Okay, so that time we require to install that app programmatically first, and then we'll work on that. Or if it is already installed, then we can directly launch it through using this app package name and app activity name. Okay, so let's start with practically. Okay, if you uh, don't watch this previous session where we have uh, do this concept or we are uh, i have already explained this concept how to la launch apm server and uh, how to click on this text element in api demo app. so watch previous session uh, how to stop start and stop session uh, stop apm server programmatically session and then come to here okay so this is the pre request for you so let's start practical example of this so first of all i'll just comment out this code or let's say we'll copy in the start APM server class somewhere else so that it will not mismatch. And I'll give name as install APK. So we'll close this one and we'll work on install APK. So start APM server and stops APM server code will be remain here. And whatever changes we want to install that we we'll do in this particular class okay so here we we don't want to change anything here because if we are already set up this we have already before test is created okay we have already desired capabilities is created so first of all i'll just commit out this the uh, set package capability and the set app activity okay so if this uh Without this, we can't launch any app because uh, it's a prerequisite if you already installed in the app, right? So now uh, let's check whether the app is already installed in system or not. So how to check that? So first of all, after launch, 
after this desired capability, okay, we what we require to set, we'll check that app is installed or not. So I'll write one uh, boolean variable here is app installed. Is, is app installed is equal to the driver dot let's see use this command is app installed okay and uh, just pass here app package name this is our app package name right so i'll just pass in here Okay, so this will return us. Okay, this method will return us uh, whether app is particular app is installed in this particular device or not. Okay, this is uh, this through this desired capability. After that, we'll write a condition here. If is app installed is true, means if it if it is true, uh, app installed already installed in in your system. Then what we are how to do? We'll just do one command like a driver dot start activity and this in this activity we will uh, we will pass uh, app package and uh, activity name start activity and we'll pass this activity uh, app package name first let's copy this package name from here and pass it here just comma activity name Just do the same over here. We will uh, require to define it in new activity. Okay, app activity, and it will return. Uh, what is the return type of this new activity? You can check. New activity. It's uh, it's required one string app package and string app activity. So we'll uh, assign this activity package name and package name and activity name. Okay. So let's build this bracket. Okay. So if app already installed is true, then we will use this app package name and this activity to launch app. Perfect. We'll do some thread dot slip here again because after installing the app, it will take, uh, take a time to install and uh, launch the app. It will take some time, some seconds wait. Okay, so this is the not recommended wait, and we always use uh, explicit wait, uh, implicit wait in your our script. But for the demo purpose, I'm using this one. Okay, if else, now we require to check one more condition here. Else, if uh, this condition is false, okay. If it's already installed, then it, you launch the app activity now. But if, if this con condition is false, now we require to write the exact code to install your APK file in your device. Okay. So I have already downloaded this APK file in this folder. Okay. So how to create this folder? Just go to the new, then create a folder and get name as APK. Okay. And I have already created here. Okay. So I'm not going to create it again because it's already exist. And inside this APK file, we require to add this that API demo APK uh, file. Okay, so if, if you don't know how to download uh, API demo app, simply go to the Google and simple type API demo APK download for APK. Whenever you will get this, uh, you, you type this API demo app, if you get downloaded on Google, it will return us uh, this GitHub link. Okay, go to this GitHub link, uh, particular GitHub link and uh, download this API, if you get demo from here. Okay, you just re rename it or uh, it will, uh, you, it will return in this API demo debug.apk, just rename it this debug APK or API demo. Or if you want to keep it as it is, you can keep it as it is in download section. I already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it again. Just uh, copy that API demo APK here and paste it into this folder. Okay, 
after that uh, what we have to, to do uh, if the apk is not installed then what we require to do driver dot install app this is the command okay driver dot install app and uh, we require to get this path and api apk path here okay so how to get that apk path so we will not do anything hard coded here so i will we'll just type here like a system dot syst prot property okay system dot let's say get property system dot get property and we'll type here like a user directory user dot dir okay so this directory will return a path till uh, our project here okay and after that we'll we require to find out the apk folder right so what we have to do is simply type the plus here plus what we require to find out we require to find out this apk folder and after that apk folder we require to get this api demo apk path pass this one here API demo APK. So still here, we'll get the project path. Um, if you install this project on different device uh, or different machine, then automatically the project will come here. And after that, we we'll get APK folder. So this will not be hard coded. Like some people directly copying the path from here. This is wrong way. Okay. If this project is installed on other system, then it will not uh, come to this path, this particular path. Okay. Right. Like this. This is the hard coded part C Selenium 4. Maybe this Selenium 4 C this folder is not present on that uh, other device, okay, or other machine. So always type path like this, okay. So we'll get user directory path automatically and we'll get API demo app APK here and it will automatically start installing that one, okay. Whenever we start, uh, so whenever we install this API demo app in some build, it uh, first time when we install that APK, uh, API demo app, it will ask for some permissions. So we we'll require to uh, require to um, like handle that exceptions. So I'll just try here like a try, and uh, we'll catch in catch block exception dot e will handle that exception through uh, using this. If it's it's asked for permission, then we require to click on somewhere. So before that, we'll let's start driver dot start activity, this one. So first of all, install the app first, and then after that, uh, start this activity. We require to add some weight here after uh, to launch after, to launch this particular API demo app in your device. And uh, after that, uh, Let's keep click on that particular uh, window, uh, particular element which we want to click. Okay, so before we go to handle that uh, permission, we require to type here. We have already write written some code here to handle that permission. I'll show you in the debug mode so that you will guys better understand what is this. So this is the continue button for permission click. After that, we require to click on uh, that allow session button, and after that, we we'll click on this uh, particular text on that APK info file. Right, so here we have APK already installed in the system. So now this is the code we require to write. So first of all, we have already APK installed in this system. If you already installed, the controls should be go here and start API, API demo app directly programmatically from here. And after that, uh, click on this particular element. Okay, this will not execute this block because we have already installed the app uh, in this particular device, right? So let's run this program first and check whether we are directly uh, able to run the API demo app or not, if it is already installed in the system. Okay, starting APM server, API demo already installed. So it's logs are coming. So it's starting APM server uh, and it's creating log here. It should be executed. Uh, it should be launched directly API demo app from here. Yes, it's directly open the API demo app. Okay, and uh, because it's already installed in the system, it's not installed in again. I click on text button. Perfect. So this is. Uh, 
we have already when we have already installed that now we'll open this in debugger mode okay so i'll show you in the perfect demo now what we have to do we'll just uninstall this app first of all let's uninstall this app from this device okay now it's uninstalled there is no api demo app still here no it's now installed uninstalled okay so there is no api demo app in device now okay now let's i'll debug this code okay. so we'll get better idea how it's executing exactly starting api app server okay we will we'll require to switch on debugger mode okay and let's continue the session click on this one Okay. So it's coming to the launching APM server programmatically, right? Perfect. Logs are coming. Okay, it's coming here now. Boolean checking whether app uh, is installed or system or not. Okay. So if I continue this one, okay, it will return us the exact result is app is installed or not. So whenever you hover on this one, app install or not this variable, particular variable, it will return us uh, the exact value. Uh, it's false, means app is not installed in the system. Perfect. Whenever you return this one, it's return as false value. It means app is not installed. Now it will go into the else code. Okay, this condition is false. Now it's going to the uh, else mode and install the app. Let's check. Okay, I'll continue the session. And yes, it's coming in the else session and installing the app now. Let's continue the session. Yes, app is installed perfectly. Now it's asking for the permission so that I have right, written this code to click on this continue button. So this is the code to click on this continue button. Permission continue controller, right? Yes, it's click on that continue button. It's allow API demo uh, for the permission. Okay, permission window. It also click on that particular button, allow location, and after that, it click on the text. Perfect. So this is how we can install the API, APK file programmatically in your system, uh, in your device or a particular device or emulator programmatically if it is not installed in your system or it's if it's already installed then we can uh, directly launch that app. So this is the code how we can install the uh, app programmatically uh, in your system, uh, in your de particular device or emulator, okay, using uh, this uh, Java and API uh, package name and uh, activity name and this is uh, install app method and the start activity method. Okay. If you guys any query related to this uh, particular demo, you can ask me or comment out me and uh, don't forget to like share like share and subscribe to automation lab so that your friends also learn uh, AP 